All right, welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about Blackstar's players' performance. And today, Mohamed Kudus was given six minutes to play in Ayas versus Groningen. Ha, huh, we don't know what is happening to Kudus Mohamed. I don't know unless someone actually tells me because um, this is a game that some of us thought after coming on just on the 90th minute for Ayas versus Fortuna Sitar in the first game of the Redivise. Some of us thought that today he will get more minutes, but hey, he got only six minutes to prove what he can do for Ayas. And let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Then we also look at Osman Bukari. He also scored a fantastic goal for Krevna Zevzda. That is West Star Belgrade in yesterday's game. Then Ransford Yebua Konizdo for the new boy for the Black Stars of Ghana. This boy, I tell you, he's doing super, super stuff for Hamburger SV. He also scored a goal yesterday for his club side. Dauda Mohamed, I told you this player was called into the Black Stars of Ghana. And eventually he did not end up in the squad. It was all because of family issues he came out later to tell us the reason why that he was not able to represent when ghana played against um you know madagascar in those games out there then we also talk about thomas third party edin ketia they also featured for as as they won yesterday by some four goals to two then we will finalize all on mohammed kudus again on his club side what is going on with him and the other Ghanaian players playing around Euro. First, subscribe to the channel first. Put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This video is also sponsored by Intercorp. Intercorp is a company that does with exports. They are based in Spain. So anything you want to import in Ghana here, just pick their numbers, contact them. Anything you want to buy, television, cars, anything you want to buy from Intercorp company or you want to buy from outside, just contact them. They'll give you lower prices, but quality goes to help you. Now let's begin. Wait, Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed Kudus again today was not in the starting lineup for Ayas versus Gronagen. Ayas won the game by six goals to one. This tells you that eventually it was, you know, um, it wasn't a stiff opposition like that to Ayas playing in the division against Gronagen. It's always going to be an Ayas win. And Ayas won the game triumphantly, having um, the likes of Bagwan, um, you know, scoring first hat trick in his career in the division for the club side. And, you know, the Brobies and the Begwais, all the other guys all scored for them. Now, Kudus was given just six minutes. Initially, when the lineup was brought out, a lot of fans got furious. A lot of Ayas fans as well as Ghanaian fans thinking that the blaster material at Ayas now is not getting the fair treatment. So, a lot of them went to the comment section. As you can see it, um, they were actually furious over six minutes given to the boy Kudus Mohamed to prove what he can do for the club and one thing is that no player can actually perform well when you give him fewer minutes because um when a player comes on he's under pressure to prove what he can do for the club and down not allow him to do his best because kudus has had a very very brilliant and um, preseason for the club ayas and a lot of us were having the hope that this season he was going to do well because in the preseason don't forget he was played out of position by the coach after that he used him as a left winger as well as a striker but as an out and out number nine he proved he scored goals in all the preseason games that he played for Ayas. but today he came on for six minutes the first game it was just under one minute for him he only had to do the additional time today too he has six minutes together with additional time which was like five minutes against Groningen and um he just needed to touch the ball release nothing actually fruitful came out of it and the boy you can see from his facial expression that he wasn't really happy when he was even brought on the fans also got furious and they were also commenting about kudus Mohammed. so what is happening to kudus we understand that Tottenham Hotspur as well as OG Sinis are all clubs monitoring him and they want to take him to the air club we don't know how things will go on some are saying kudus should leave others two are saying he should stay the season is very long we have a lot of matches coming up but others too also think that the coach does not really like Kudus and um, he just has to move on. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. So let's talk about the other Blasters players. Osman Bukari, one of the informed Blaster players currently for his club side, Red Star Belgrade. His club won and um, he scored one goal for them. He scored the second goal and his performance was very good for the club side. He lasted about 64 minutes in the game. And he scored a goal for the club side. So he came out to say he was very happy for scoring for the club. Don't forget, recently I told you he scored fantastic um, goals in the Champions League. 
qualification and today he also scored that's yesterday rather he scored for his club red star belgrade now another black star player we can talk about is dauda muhammad yes he's joined a new club that is Tenerife, and he scored a goal for them yesterday even though his side lost by two goals to one he played 57 minutes in the game he scored a goal before he was substituted and um his club side lost by two goals to one in the spanish la liga 2 in there then another player we also talk about is ransford this boy is deadly i tell you he scored yesterday for the club hamburger sv as they went all away to win by two goals you know he scored the first goal he lasted about 89 minutes in the game before he was substituted right now he's part of the team he is a starter yes when he was brought from loan he was somehow you know being brought on but um in the dfb poker game he came on to score two goals and after us he has always been a starter for the club hamburger sv so he also scored a goal for them yesterday then thomas tepat a super super midfielder yesterday he bought the midfield for arsenal as they beat leicester by some four goals to two in the english premier league day two arsenal has won all their two games first match they won two goals to now against crystal palace and yesterday they were at home at the emery sports stadium and they won by some four goals to two party had a great game he almost scored but um, he didn't score, so we just have to talk about that. He had 90 minutes of the game, and Ghana's about to be announced striker. That is Eddie Nketiah, also played about six minutes of the game itself. The um, striker for Arsenal, Gabriel Jesus, has spoken about Eddie Nketiah. I'll bring you the update here on this channel. Then we will also finalize everything on some other Blasters players who are also playing and doing well for their clubs. I'll come out and talk about them. Ali Duseidu. Is also doing well for his club side currently as i'm recording this video his club side is winning by about five goals to two to ax Azure or as Azure in the french league one i'll bring you the updates here on this channel other players are also doing well for their club side i have to just take time and bring you all the players one sensation that we need to watch out for is brandon thomas asante brandon thomas asante he is also Currently, he is a British or he is um, from England. He's an English boy and he can also play for the Black Stars of Ghana. But now he's very, very deadly striker. Now he plays for Southport in the League One in um, that is England. I'll bring you the updates here on this channel. Subscribe to your channel and put on the bell for more updates here. This is Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later. Subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.